that is a convincing touch. No one would suppose you would marry a woman who claimed to be your lost sweetheart unless you were quite, quite sure. You know, you have completely satisfied. And so we can make good the promise of our boy and girl betrothal, the ceremony on the Chinese island. You mentioned it. At last. You are bound to speak of it, and at last you have. That was to be your final proof, was it? Well, it was a secret between us and the three sisters. No one could have told you it because no one knew. No. You yourself told me the day you brought the Empress to see me. You spoke of it to her. I was standing behind those curtains trying to muster the courage to come in. What are you saying? Do you want me to believe this is all a trick? It is tricks you have asked for. Tricks of remembrance. You could find nothing of personality, nothing of character by which to identify me. Animals know their kind by scent, but it seems I am not endowed with the rare odor of the Romanovs. You're wrong. I recognize you almost at once, and by instinct, if you want to call it that. Don't you see that these, these tricks are merely proofs for the others who still have doubts? Such as the bankers. Right, the bankers. Supposing there were no bankers, would you still be sure that I am the girl to whom you pledged your love? Of course. Uh, of course. Now it is I who ask for proofs. I suggest that we marry with no reference to bankers or bank accounts, that we make no claim for this money, and that we work for a living, both of us. <laughs> but why? Why should we? You don't fancy the idea. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Why be poor when you can just as easily be rich? Poor people have one advantage. When they're loved, they know it is for themselves. I refuse to take that remark seriously. I'm sorry, Paul. Your heart belongs to a young girl who is dead. I may be your childhood, but I am not your love. It's your amnesia. Our childhood was a beautiful childhood because you were a part of it. And now you would like to have it back, only with different toys? I'd like to once again be, be, be charming and romantic like it used to be. But you see, now is the time we must act. Now is the time of crisis. True, a crisis for the Boonin Enterprise. <coughs> but also a crisis for me. I had hoped you would help me solve it, and I think you have. You're talking in riddles. Riddles? Just like you used to as a little girl. Well, I've had my half an hour alone with my thoughts. It's what my husband always insisted on before he would render a decision. And this decision has made me, and I hope, and a stage or two, very happy. <clears throat> And uh, now I will go and tell the others the good news. The others.